someone get into your next one right now, which is also, and my last one at that. Ready? This news article right here uh, is actually a video, but it says, man hijacked and thrown off of Kloof Gorge Cliff. What? Man, you guys have some crazy shit that goes down out in South Africa. What the hell? So, yeah, we 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 have the we have a really great crime statistic. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's actually also one of the reasons I moved to the UK. But um, <laughs> it's yeah, uh, it's uh, out of hand in, in some aspects, and vehicle hijackings are a commonplace. And no, I've heard they, that actually. And they 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 violent hijackings as well. So you'll be held at gunpoint and you'll be lucky to get away without being shot at, at least. Um it's so the, what That's happened terrible. in this case. That is yeah. totally terrible, by the way. Uh, it's 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 not great at all. And and, and it was started to it was starting to become a a not an not a if but a when situation because it was just becoming quite quite frequent um and so yeah but that's that's a whole nother story uh, yes it is <laughs> th this this chap was an uber driver um and he got got hijacked for his vehicle um and he so Let's try and think about this, how to explain this in a, in a good way. A lot of vehicles in South Africa have vehicle tracking units in them okay. because of their, their theft thing. So as part of your insurance, they want you to have vehicle tracking units. Now, um, you can activate your vehicle tracking units at any time um, or it's activated under certain conditions automatically, uh, like if it's been in an accident or, or et cetera. Um, so the change in modus operandi with hijackers were often to take you as a driver with them and then they would dump you somewhere once they had found the tracking unit inside your vehicle. So, so you oh. couldn't activate it. So they would strip the vehicle while they're driving around because they would generally hide them in a number of places uh, underneath the dashboard, in the hood lining. Um, uh, there's a, there, there were new, there was a, sort of common places where they would put tracking units and vehicles so once they found the tracking unit and they'd ripped it out disabled it they would then dump you somewhere and then continue with the vehicle um the these guys had determined that this driver or well, this owner of this vehicle and this uber driver um had seen too much of their faces so they went so they tossed him off the cliff they tied him up and threw him off the cliff they obviously tied him hoping up that he and threw him off the cliff yeah yeah he so oh, he was cable tied man. cable tied together and tossed off the cliff um again they picked the no da view site um and <laughs> this this dude yeah got chucked off there we kind of think at about 1 a.m in the morning um we weren't really sure but uh, around about 3.30 in the morning, um, a house across the across the, the gorge could hear screams. Um, they, they then phoned the local security company who came out, corroborated that they could also hear these screams. And the local security um, armed response guys knowing the area and knowing everything else was like, mm, this is a little suspect. They put it back through their control room. Their control room phoned us and said, listen, we believe by one of our armed response officers that there's a victim, well, there, there, there's a, a rescue scenario that needs to be investigated in this area. They're not sure where, but they believe it's here. So we... In that case, we normally just send one person out as a scout. Please go and have a look, see if you if it's you know real or somebody's just having us on. One of the guys local, the closest person, went out there and was like, "Oh no, I can hear this guy. I've established um, verbal communication with him. He's down the cliff over here. Please like bring out some resources." This and and normally and 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 in that scenario also 
being the area, we automatically assume it's a jumper. So phone the police, phone the fire department because it becomes a crime scene. As soon as it's it's a suicide attempt, it's a crime, you know, it's a crime scene in the environment. Get there, we access this guy, he tells us he's been hijacked and thrown off the cliff. And this first time we like rubbish, bro. Full story. Let's let's get you out of here. And then we start working, we're like, oh wait, wait, this guy's this guy's like cable tied, but like properly cable tied. So we're like, okay, cut the cable ties off him. We get him out of the cliff. He's like, this is the story. This is my vehicle. This is what happened. This is where I was hijacked. We're like, okay, the story is this. This story is now. This is way too, you know, too real to be a made-up story. So then it becomes a whole another another ball game. It is a crime scene, but different type of crime scene. We yeah, we verify that this guy was in fact hijacked and tossed off the edge of the cliff. He got away with minor injuries, luckily enough, but um wow got lucky yeah he 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 had he had the ride of his life man i think yeah i think we the eventually got him out of it. his life so yeah so he got he got hijacked around yeah. about eight in the eight p.m in the evening okay tossed off tossed off a cliff at about 1 a.m found at about 4 a.m and then we got him out at around about 6 a.m so nearly 12 hours worth of oh, terrorizing ordeal uh, yeah, I mean that that's something that's gonna gonna live with you for I mean that's 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 not gonna be a a great uh, traumatic experience to try and forget, I'm sure. No, but you guys pulling them out like save the day. Yeah. Holy cow, man, that's crazy. Dude, you guys have some crazy stuff that goes on in South Africa. It's we do. We do. 